Hi guys, welcome to Cooper and Join Analysis 101. I'm Kate. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me and welcome. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload more videos. All right, guys, today I was just listening to the news yesterday. I'm sure like most of you about the Dallas police officer, um, Amber Geiger, I believe, and who shot um, Botham John in his apartment because she mistook it for hers and thought he was an intruder and shot and killed him. And I mean, she was sentenced yesterday and uh, they, uh, the younger brother of um, Botham John uh, hugged her in, in, in court and, and said uh, he forgave um, uh, her for uh, you know, killing his brother. I mean, it got me thinking about um, forgive, forgiving the narcissist for, you know, all the uh, abuse that they, you know, they did to us. Like, I, I was wondering, like, you know, how much uh, courage it took the, the younger brother to, you know, hug uh, this person that murdered um, his, his brother. You know, like, so it got me thinking. I was, you know, like... I used to forgive the narcissist, you know, for intentionally because you know the only thing you did wrong with these people is that you were you were you were too nice to them. You you bought into whatever uh, mask that they had on, and that that was that was our only crime is that we trusted and 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 loved what was presented to us. But the whole time they had an agenda. An agenda was to come in and try to destroy you from within. So it got me. Th this case got me thinking about the. You know uh, forgiveness you forgive the narcissist and I know you sh you guys probably already heard forgiveness is not for the uh, the, per the other person forgiveness is for you so you can be at peace you know move on and, and I, I get that that's that's you know I think that's good I, I support that and I also believe that forgiveness is something that happens on your own terms just like you know when you choose to how you're healing you know there's not really a timeline when you're supposed to do this or when you're supposed to get to that point where you forgive the, the narcissist, you know, so it's all different for everybody. So, and I, and I get that part too. So I think when, you know, most time when people say forgive, you know, we kind of tag along the forget part, you know, <laughs> to it, which I don't think, think it belongs to get, I guess if you forgive, you forgive the person for what they did to you, but that does not mean that you guys are going to come and sit together and, you know, be friends again. <laughs> and I know I, I, I think we, you know, you forgive somebody, you acknowledge the fact that yes, these people hurt me. Yes. These people did, did, did me wrong. And I is not right. It's not fair, but I need to forgive them so that I can move on with my life, but not necessarily forgetting because you're not supposed to forget what hurt you. So you don't go back and repeat the same thing, you know? So, but you know, most times when, when, you know, when you say forget, for, forgive, it's like you're forgetting, you're forgiving and then you're forgetting everything. You know, we start all over a brand new place and uh, slate and, you know, we start, everybody forget whatever that was done. But no, that's, that's not, I think when we eventually get to the point where you want to, uh, you're ready you know because that's you really have to get to that point it's not it doesn't matter what anybody says it will take you a month it take you a year it take you 10 years it doesn't matter when you get to that point where it is you forgive i think you just to forgive that person like they say is because it's for you so you can move on and you know you acknowledge what happened you acknowledge it's, it's not right it's not fair but this person did you wrong but you need to close your mind to that so you can move on you know with your life but at the same time, you do not forget. You don't. You don't forget what happened. You don't forget all the the abuse that happened, which means that you don't necessarily have to ever deal with this person. I mean, we are co-parenting. I guess you know, you know, if the kids are like you know younger, like my mine, you know, eventually we're gonna meet for you know graduation or you know weddings and stuff like that, and. You know, I guess you forgive, you get to the point where you see them, you don't spit on them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You see them, you you uh, exchange, oh, hey, hello. And then you, you know, you walk on. You don't sit down and start talking about, so how is life? And, you know, discussing your life. I don't think, anyway, personally for me, I don't think that would, that I will get to that point where that's what the forgiveness means to me. I think forgive to me is i you know yeah you forgive forgive because it's for you forgive it's for you but 
forgetting it is not gonna happen i don't think i don't even think that <laughs> it's possible it's like because people like i keep saying we're at war we're really at war with these people we don't we didn't know we we're at war anyway but we were at war and people that went to war don't forget that they, they were there they were they, they don't forget that we're in the front lines they don't forget that they were you know in the war zone you know so i think that that's how i look at narcissistic abuse as well you know you when you eventually get to the point where you can you know sit down you acknowledge what happened and and, and forgive this person so you can continue your healing process because it's, it is for you the forgetting part is what we need to that reminds us or hold us when so that we don't get to fall back you know to the same type of person or to back to the same person you know and so but you know when something when we hear forgive is like you know forgive and forget it's kind of you know that's and it's, to me that's what you hear is like well, i'm supposed to forget everything that happened and we're cool again we're friends again oh hell no no <laughs> we'll forgive because it's for you but uh, the forgetting part is not tagged along that that's that that is how you learn that is a reminder not to go down this did this path again because you did and it wasn't right of course that means that you watch out for people that are presenting themselves in the same way you know not to uh, fall for that again so that's why you don't forget you know so yeah you forgive like this young man did to this lady that uh, murdered um, his brother you know it, it, it's very it's very very brave very strong to be you know i think he was deeply rooted in his faith for this to ain't happen you know we will forgive but you don't forget the narcissistic abuse so you don't go back or you don't go back to what hurt you, or you and you don't go back and fall for the same thing that hurt you all right guys like share subscribe let me know what you think and of course get your mind right and everything else will fall into place i will see you in the next video